please subscribe and don't forget to click on the little notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Okay, here's the Christmas tree around five o'clock and it's starting to get dark out and you can see how beautiful it is. So now my project, I'm still fixing all of this as you know. Um, I have this very thin Christmas tree here and it already has the white lights in it and I had some vintage colored lights, it just had a few on it. So I decided to put those in and my project is that I am going to be putting all of my tree toppers on the branches and I don't know if I can do this while I'm filming, but the idea is that I insert them as far as I can go on here and then hopefully, if you can imagine this, it will be a tree full of tree toppers. So what do you think? Stay tuned and see how I do. I'll probably put it together tonight and then film it in the day so you can see it also with the lights on. Okay, so I'm about to, I'm gonna turn off the Christmas lights on this and I'm going to start putting on my tree toppers. And I've got, uh, let's see, that's not tree toppers. In here, this is full, this is full. And then over here, it's still a big mess. As you can see, I'm trying to sort everything out. I've got a whole bunch in here, in here. And maybe I have some under there, but I don't think so. So uh, stay tuned and we'll have a look. So the idea is to put, I'll show you a picture here of how I've always displayed my tree toppers. I have a really nice collection, but I've got so many now that I can't fit them on the support anymore. And I had an idea, I thought, what, ha what happens if I put them on the tree like this, you know, so I can just try and poke them in. I mean, they're meant to be poked onto a tree, so this should not be a problem, and I'm just hoping I don't break any. So I'm just very carefully inserting them as far as I can go. And, uh, and then we'll see what the result is afterwards. See, I think that's sticking out enough. Let me pull this one a bit more. I can just prop them up like this, just to make sure that they don't fall. Try and get them to go upwards. So I'm just gonna continue to put these on and I will show you how it looks at the end. Okay, so here I have the finished product. I still have all my boxes and all of that's put away. But here is the finished tree topper tree. Um, most of these are vintage, very old. So this one I is one I've not used before. I bought it during the year and it has really beautiful little acorns, uh, sorry, uh, pine cones and little balls with lots of glitter. And I just love all of these different ones. I have two that are plastic, this one, another one. And uh, those are new this year too. I've not had those before, but everything else is glass. This one is new for me. This one I really like as well. It's got beautiful details to it with the wire on top. Of course, I've got lots with the bells. <clears throat> of course, they're hanging differently than they would normally, but we're gonna try it out like this year and see if we like it. And I hope you do too. Please leave a comment below if you like the video and let me know what you think of it. And also please subscribe to the channel. I have different videos throughout the year of different things, but everything's like super creative and, and I would be really happy to uh, have you join my channel. So it inspires me to, to give you more videos. 
course you can see there's a reflection in the window. I'm gonna go outside now and video it from outside. Oh, and here's the Christmas tree we did earlier. It's looking good. I like having the two Christmas trees. I've not had two lit before, but I think that looks really pretty. Thanks for watching. If you like the 
the video, please click on the little thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe and click on the little notification bell. And it will allow you to receive information when I post a new video. See you soon. Bye.